CBS News national security analyst Juan Zarate is a former advisor to President George W. Bush. Juan, good morning. Good morning, Nora. We now have uh, this second attack overnight. Uh, this is the most violence and terrorism any host city has experienced this soon before an Olympic Games. How concerned should we all be? I think the Russians are very concerned. I think U.S. officials are growing more and more concerned, Nora. I think uh, we've known that the Russians have had to deal with the terrorist problem for some time. Uh, and with the location of Sochi so near the Caucasus region, uh, which uh, has produced these terrorist threats, I think uh, analysts, uh, not only in the U.S., but around the world, are growing more concerned about the ability of the Russians to control security as we approach the Olympics. Well, and the, the Russians have been taking extraordinary security measures in Sochi itself and around it. But is that leaving them more vulnerable just outside of it? Perhaps, and you've seen terrorists in the past talk about that, where there are softer targets outside of the actual site of a, an Olympics, where they could perhaps attack transportation hubs or softer targets in the region. And I think you've seen from the statements of terrorist leaders like Doku Umarov uh, the fact that they want to bring maximum force and pressure against the Russian state and bring instability, or at least a sense of that, to the Olympics. You know, normally uh, the United States and our intelligence community cooperates very closely with the host city during the Olympics. But there are some strained relationships between U.S. and Russia. How much is that affecting how secure these Olympic Games may be? Well, I think some of the tension you see on issues like Syria, Nora, and other, other diplomatic issues uh, sort of fall by the wayside when you talk about the tactical security around the Olympics. Uh, U.S. authorities are going to be working very closely with the Russians to ensure that U.S. athletes, U.S. sponsors, uh, U.S. citizens who are there for the Games are provided the maximum security. But I think everyone now needs to be even more concerned about the terrorist threat that has reached the Russian heartland and is growing closer not only to the Sochi Olympics, but also uh, affecting the transportation hubs uh, that are so important to the Olympics. And then one, I just want to ask you about who's responsible. This attack on Sunday, it may have involved a woman. Another uh, attack in the same city back in October did include a woman who, who detonated a vest of explosives aboard a bus in the city, killing herself and six others. What's behind this and why are women involved? Well, the Chechen rebels and some of the terrorist groups from Dagestan and Ingushetia are famous for using what, what is called the Black Widows. These are uh, often widows of, of fighters who they, they themselves become suicide attackers. And we've seen this in the past in 2004, bringing down two airliners, uh, ironically one headed to Sochi, actually. Uh, you've seen that in prior uh, bus attacks two months ago in Volgograd. Uh, so women are used as suicide attackers, and they're known as the Black Widows. Juan Zarate, thanks, Juan.